1962? 1964. 64. Uh -huh. So in 64. Did he say 42? 64. Okay, so this is four years before Dr. King was killed. Uh huh. Right? Mm -hmm. In the time when you were born, when you came out, yep. the NAACP was already established, right? Absolutely. Right. Yep. Where was the UNIA when you were born? Defunct. Mm -hmm. Defunct. Mm -hmm. Nobody even remembered it. Mm -hmm. So your entire life, that organization has been useless. Right? Mm -hmm. The UNIA has been defunct. Mm -hmm. In your lifetime, what has the NAACP done to advance colored people? Because that's what it's there for, right? Right. right. The advancement right. of colored people, right? right? Okay. In your lifetime. <laughs> yeah. I get it. I hear you. Huh? I hear you. <laughs> Did he say, huh? I hear <laughs> so you. So silly. Okay, now let's talk about that defunct okay. organization. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. That organization was run by a loony then. A madman, they called him. Mm -hmm. Right? Right. They said, who would sit down with the Klan? Who would do that as a black man? Who would do that? Right. He said, I am willing to sit down with my enemy to further my people. They called him a crazy person. Deported to back to Jamaica. Right? Agent 808, the first ever black counterintelligent agent. Agent 808, black man. Right? Mm -hmm. Did the man. You and I done, upside down, deport him, right? Right. That man was willing to do anything for the advancement of the colored people. Right. Right? Mm -hmm. Now today, almost a hundred years later, right? Our people haven't advanced. <laughs> right? The call that he used to have the people say, the uh, the song that they used to they, that they made up. By themselves, they didn't ask permission. They didn't say we shall overcome. They made up their own national anthem. Right? And part of the song that everybody joined in, men, women, children, was advance. Advance. Right. Now I can't breathe. Hmm. Right? Hey, don't get too deep. I'm sorry, my bad. No, I love it. Go ahead. My bad. Go ahead. Go ahead. But that was the words that they was... That's what he was trying to promote. That's what they were doing, 1920. Bring your point home. Now, a hundred years later, we saying, we don't know who we can trust. <laughs> right? Okay. Mm -hmm. What Marcus Garvey was trying to teach them is, trust no one except for yourself. Right. We in a position a hundred years later, we can't even trust ourselves. Unfortunately, yeah. And we're waiting for... Someone else. I got you. So I agree with what she's doing. Right. I just don't have the patience for people who refuse to do it for themselves. Mm -hmm. They didn't do it a hundred years ago. They're not going to do it today. Right. But you think this is a good idea? I think it's a fantastic idea. The problem is, is that no one's going to trust anybody to have that kind of money. And that it's going to go to the right thing because, unfortunately, we haven't proven that it would. Right. And our friends have, though, right? Our, uh, our buddies on the, the lighter shade who are from the northern no. places, no. they have definitely proven. Wait, what about the ones who, who are promoting our, advancing our uh, freedoms, our, our sexual freedoms? What about our religious freedoms? What about the ones that promote that? You can line them all up. I don't care if it's a pastor. I don't care if it's a, a, a LBGTQ, whatever it is. If it's biracial, we're going to be together. All of these members of all of these groups have not advanced us at all. It's divided us, actually. And Split if we really attention. want to talk about it... Split your attention. Uh, I don't want to say that, because then, then that makes those people not no, not no longer our promoters of our well-beings, but people who are harming us. And I that was telling too many toes. So let's just say this. 
at the very least. Well, um, I, I asked Jeannie to look over this uh, campaign I'm trying to do because I just got off the phone with um, somebody in the black conscious community. And she said, in order for her to promote my um, campaign, she want me to be associated with a reputable bank to set up a trust. And I said, I can respect that and I do understand that. But you're literally going back to the people we trying to get away from. You just are. You put in you're you're allowing yourself to to go to the white people again. It's not even white people. It don't well whoever the people in power, okay, people in power and trust that they going to have everything the way it's supposed to be. You got to trust that it they're not going to I'm sorry, what do they do? Run off with all of the SSI and the um Retirement fund, retirement fund. You know how they, you know, you got to trust that all the money that we put together, because we've done this before, we put a lot of money together, and what's happened? So we're going to them again to trust them, give them the authority over that type of money, and trust that they're going to give you what you're supposed to get when you say you're going to get it without telling you, well, because this is what they do for black people. We only going to. We're going to give you a stipend every third month of the year so that you don't blow your money. Is that not true? You said Jay Will, like, oh, no deal with it. Who was bad on that real estate? And um, what was that movie about? Banker or something like that? I don't know. The Wolf on Wall Street person? No. Or the, um, the dude was, that got out early because he knew it was coming? No, yeah. this is the black. Uh, this is black dude. He yeah, literally, it was good. Yeah, he literally, I mean, he's, back, he's based on a true story. He literally bought up, like, his major. But he was helping. Yeah. But I mean, like, um, it's kind of like, to me, I only, the only person I can bring it up to is um, Master P. Mm-hmm. Master P, he did, he used white people to get what he needed. Once mm-hmm. he got what he needed, he pushed it. He, he made his own. He made his own. His own empire. Yeah. Same and, thing like and, he did and the rest of them did. And the, to me, they use white people for it. They, they, they had to get white people to get started. But what, yeah. I'm, what I'm would, trying to do is cut that out. That would be I'm great. I'm trying to end all of that, period. Yeah, because You to have me, to change like, the way you think. Nobody is changing the way they think, and that's why this seems so impossible. I got like 20 emails from people saying, that's too much money to ask for. How? Black people spend $1 trillion a year on the market. Uh, look at how much Let's they, talk they about spend that. On, on hair, hair. hair products. <laughs> hair. That's, that's in the billions. But this little bit of money is too much? The yeah, monopoly thing? Oh, I think they've seen it. When the girl talks about 400 years, rounds of monopoly. Mm-hmm. Oh, Did you see that? I, I don't know. Well, well, oh, no, no, no. I didn't see the monopoly. Oh, gee. This is gee. It, it is the. But here's the thing. I get it. The problem is going to be like. Okay, so here it is. I have a cousin who, you know, she said, this is what I'm trying to do. I'm, I'm trying to raise, I forgot how much money she's trying to raise, but she says, I have never taken a vacation because I've taken care of my seven children and their kids. Mm-hmm. And so I need that trip. She says, and this is what I'm, spo- I, I'm trying to raise. Now, if I can't raise that amount, then anybody who's donated, I will return the money. Mm-hmm. So I gave her a hundred dollars. Mm-hmm. I ain't seen it. She ain't been nowhere. <laughs> you know, I have given so much money to so many different causes, and it's like see, okay. this is the problem. And I'm like, I need to know. I'm not saying you got to go give it to any certain group. I'm just saying it needs to be so that I can put my mind at ease when I give. Not when I give my twenty. Because so what if I do? I mean, I could take $20 and go throw it outside. I can go and give it to the person on the street. Mm -hmm. But what I'm saying is, is when you get that kind of money, I want to see my money. I want to see the the, the numbers that you put that I'm supposed to get. I want to see that. That's why I'm thinking, what if you had a a role? So every person that put their money in. But I'm trying to put a team together of people that I trust, not corporations. No, no, listen. The people themselves, right? Who put money in? Go on a roll, and their name is there. Well, that's and the, they can see. That's their what my $20, plan was to right? log in everybody. 
who get you have that's how how else are you going to get your payment? You have to register. And so when you pay, you, date, you you get Indiegogo logs you when you pay. Mm -hmm. Is a record of that. So then once you um, what you call it once you uh, get to the date, does the money automatically just go back to the person who sent it? What do you mean? So the money that was raised like, to yeah. just send them the whole month, three million when when it's like that, you mean? Uh, no, no, I'm saying if you don't, if you have to hit your goal at whatever, say it's July first, you got to hit your goal by July first. Mm -hmm. On July first, if you don't hit your goal, then the twenty dollars just goes back to everybody. No, what happens is the reason why I picked Indiegogo mm -hmm. is because you still get all of the money. Whatever you raise is yours. It's not like Kick you Kickstarter divide? or GoFundMe. So, so what you would you do is, what list? I would do is, so if we don't make the the goal for the four hundred million, mm -hmm. if we don't make the hundred and twenty six million, which would give everybody the three million, mm -hmm. if we get to just a hundred, mm -hmm. then I will put it in for a second round. That money right back into the account again. See how much we raised last time. Let's do it again this time. But now. People can see, you know what I mean, that you almost there. You don't understand what I'm saying. I Am see, I not making I myself clear? What you're saying, but um, how do you get people to? Okay, so basically, it's like me saying, "I'm going to give you something," and you say, "What?" And you say, "I'm about to give it to you right now," but you got to give me something first. Okay, no problem. I give it to you, and then you say, "Now, I don't have it yet, but I am going to give it to you. Just give me a little more." You hear how it sounds? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, to right. me, I would be like, if you're going to do okay. something. Okay. So. Give me something. So, the way, to, the way to deal with that. If like there is. Right. So, so do we, 10% of whatever you earn automatically goes back. No matter what. And then, that's the first disbursement. Because. And if it's, yeah. Yeah. If it's good, if people like it, then. They'll double up when it. They'll go back and come back to it again. And if not, then they just get that, that 10% is the first one, and then you divide it up amongst what's left over, and they get the, you know, whatever's left over. If I told you tomorrow you're going to win the lottery, it's going to be $100, you know, $45 million, who would you go to? I would go to my bank. I'd go to my bank. Wells Fargo. I'd go to Ant. Okay. You know, I go to in, and yeah, there's a lot of money there, and they can take off with it, right? And I have a higher chance mm -hmm. of getting something out of their hiney, because they got something else mm -hmm. besides just my money, as opposed to somebody who has nothing. Right. And so it. How can they gone, leverage it? Right. You need somebody that's going to leverage it. So. Right. Who, who can bl uh, black people have that type of trust in? Um, okay, so unfortunately... I mean, Wells Fargo is pretty old. Yeah, I don't... Wells yeah. Fargo burnt us three times. I'm just talking about how old they are. As far as the business, they, they got it. But insurance companies are even more... Well, I'm just saying, if you could trust the banks, then we can set up a, a trust with the bank. If y'all trust the banks with that type of money, with us, but then it's a bunch of people in this country. Well, which bank would you choose? That's and, what I'm saying. And, right. It would or, have to be a big one, right? It would have to be a big one, or it have to be a black one. I mean, and is there any black banks in in, in Colorado? I mean. In the state of Colorado, I can't oh, fly I, over I the world to go meet with a black bank. There's plenty of black yeah, banks can. down south. No, I can't. Yeah, if it's for, if it's for the cause, that would be what your job would be. <laughs> that would literally be it. If well, you put do I have that there, right now to make this set up on this account right now? While this is asking, movement. <laughs> you got it. Oh, Because well, right. cool. the people behind you are going. <laughs> but um, there's banks in the south, though. There's black banks in the south. Uh, I'm talking about right here where I'm at locally, so I can do my own business without waiting for somebody else to help me. But when you have to get the consensus of the, you're trying to get people to buy in, right? So when you have to get their consensus, if you just say, "I know a bank here in Colorado," that no one's ever. So heard of. which one is it? Do I get? Do I wait for everybody to tell me which bank to go to? Do I have this already presented before they donate? Like, 
What's the actual um, plan? What about what about um, putting them in several banks as opposed to one bank? I got two bank accounts, Key Bank and um, Navy Federal. I can go to both of them and that kind of money doesn't turn out. Yeah. And the reason meaning what the whole amount of that I'm at requesting, right? Yeah. Mm. I don't agree with that. I oh. think if we get because the way humans work, they're followers. If you get five percent of the people donating. Just because people are followers, they're going to donate because they want to be in. And I believe, just because I've been studying campaigning, just the campaign crowdfunding sector, I'm just talking about how that works. You just need to get it on the front page. You get it on the front page by just having a certain amount of donations in one day. And then people just donate because that's what they do. It's a crowd funding sphere fear but have you considered uh there would be people um who don't even have five dollars right that's why i'm saying this is for it's 42 million documented african americans in this country right on there i said if only 20 million so donate 50%. 20 dollars right that's because what they're going to be ask. right they're going to be um, people with disabilities, the elderly, babies. Babies can't pay nothing. You know what I'm saying? I'm not expecting every single person to donate that. Because if everybody donated it, then it would be in the billions. Okay. So now I get it. So then at the end, each person would get how much? Three million dollars each. Are you talking about every? Every donator. If you get 20 million No, donations, everybody... Right? That is African American in this country, period. We'll get the three million. Yes. Okay. So this way you change the narrative. You are now the one percent. So everything is different now. You don't have to look outside yourself at all for them to do anything. Now you set up your hospitals, your schools, your neighborhoods. There's no more it's no more um woe is me and we can't do this because we black because that'll be over now it's time to really see what you can do without the we've been held back stuff but the money that you're going to put in to build this hospital or whatever the, the, that money where where are we going to build we're going to fix our neighborhoods up but these aren't ours anyway oh show them for you huh show them for you what, the Monopoly video? Hold on, what's not ours? The houses that we currently living in? The neighborhoods of the ghetto? What both. are you saying? Both. When you say it's not ours, what do you mean so, by that? Uh, yes. Yeah, no, I want she's, you to tell me what, what you yeah, mean what by that. What she's saying is that if you transfer, if you just do, everybody, it's like, you got to make it simple. One person. So it's me. I live in this house by myself. And I put my money in. Boom, what a jackpot. Boom, I get it back. I take that money to her who owns this house and I say, I'm going to buy my house now, here. And I give her my money. Right. That I lost. I didn't win. Right. Because it's not. Because it's not my house. Right. It's her house. And it's and this neighborhood, <laughs> you know, this whole neighborhood and stuff, they are taking it down. They're building what they want. We have to find our own land. We got to mm, build our own. This is all of our land. They are aliens to this land. I that agree. is not supposed. Uh, that's my second phase. I want to just get the money first, and then I can break down the second stage because people can't even follow me with the first part. So if I say, then we serve our eviction notices for them to get the hell out of here. That's how you understand the other part of it. But you just got to be willing to do it. You can't keep going back saying, well, this is theirs. And none of this is theirs. None of it. They, the, the native, they got a Native American tr um, tribe or community, whatever now, that's building a prison on its land. Those are not Native Americans. Those are $5 Indians, right? <laughs> Please don't say that to me again if this ain't ours. Please. I, I got an affliction to that because all of this is mine. I don't have no affinity to Africa. I am not African. I have no desire to leave this country because it's mine. 
Period. No, I guess. That's just how I feel. Gus, please. Hi. What, babe? Anyway, so you saying if we get the money and we just want to give it back to them so that they can have our money again by buying the lands and the um the properties? Yes, that's part of it. But the other part of it is is if you say for instance there was this epiphany to make everything fair and distribute all money to all people equally. And tomorrow every single human being got the same amount of money. In a year's time, it would go right back to what it is now because of people's mindset. They don't know what to do with three million. They don't know what to do with one dollar. They don't know what to do. Maybe I did. I, I, this is the second um, or fifteenth strategy. I actually did have that laid out. I might not have put it in this one, but I did have a, a plan laid out so that they won't blow their money in, in a year. Or or spending money on a car. Tell me how they're gonna do that. What, what you said first was that his member. This is what I asked you. When you first said. I'm right holding up. Let me just show you. If you if you, if you, if you, if you give somebody. I mean that's cool to watch a video about how they do the monopoly stuff. I, I don't really. You said you were gonna remember. You said you were gonna do financial education. Okay, so what you said I the said first it on time there, was. Didn't I? I don't think it's in, in this one. But what what you said the first time you had the idea was that. When you get your pay three million dollars, right? Say you get your payment. Part of your payment when you sign on that dotted line is you have to be financially educated. You can't get your money until you, you be complete able to get an the eight week class of, of financial literacy. You get the first installment immediately of fifty thousand dollars, and then you take the class. Once you complete the class, you'll get your second installment. So you're going to get four installments. Over the, the first two years. I did have this written down on one of them. I just got to go back to the other one. Yeah, that's I gotta what I'm saying. Go back. I had it. I broke it down. And so this is what I'm saying. I need to have a team because I need a financial um, advisor to, to do that part. We need to get these communities, community centers up and running. And that's what's going to pay for the classes. That's why it's broken down like that. You get $126 million is what we need to get the $3 million. But... The rest of that money is going to setting up everything so that we're successful and not needing to be helped again. And I understand that, but that's what you're saying is what I do. I have a 12-week training. It's called Getting Ahead in a Just Getting By World. And I do all the financial literacy. I tell them the hidden rules and behaviors of the middle class. I talk about how you're supposed to handle, you know, for homes and rent and all of that. But it does not... I mean, I've watched it. I've watched it, and the success rate is really like one percent. What's the solution? The mindset of the human being. That's what she's saying. It is, it is. You, What's the solution you, to get to that point? Because all of this talk is constant. Just talk. I'm talking about. I'm sorry. What Action. is the how you, solution? How do you make people's minds change? Is the question you're asking? How do you? You can't even make one individual. You can't even make your child do what you wanted to do. Right. You telling me right. how do I get Okay, so you're only telling me that you only change? know how we can't make it happen. I'm not because not, I'm not interested in it. Okay. Well, that's then, all I'm saying. I'm only okay. interested in how we can make it happen. So how do you how do you do that? We don't have a large joint where we can go look at that. I mean, light. I know how to do it, I just don't have <laughs> access to it. Blank. We I know how to achieve so, that goal. I just don't have the access to do it. Because I know the people that I have to deal with, the level that I have to deal with them on. I know how to get there. I just don't have access to that. So, I, I, I literally have a solution for everything. I just need to have a team because there's no I in island, right? But it is an I in island. Wait, did I say that knowledge here wrong? Yeah, it's not I in team. <laughs> but what, what, so what is, your, what is your solution then? If you say you have a solution, how do you change people's um, minds? Find somebody that they follow, have them promote it and do it. Is that that's just what they do? It's just it's just what it is. So they they need a messiah. They need somebody to lead them. They need it. They can't just say, "Wow, so you if I just not spend twenty dollars on this large pizza, that's killing me," mm-hmm. and just try to put that in there. Just gamble that twenty dollars after I spent thousands on the lottery all my life. Let me gamble with that twenty dollars and see if I can change my life forever. 
that's see that's just the road I would take. I would just I'm always willing to try anything so I'm not broke and poor. But that is but, you. Right. That that's, is not <laughs> that's 40, that's not all of us, right? I get it. Nine hundred ninety-nine thousand nine hundred and ninety nine mm-hmm. other people <laughs> that you gotta wow. think about. Then why was I born? Because I don't want to be a part of a race that's like that. Well, you are. Well, yeah. I don't like that, so they better get in line. Well, I know you don't like my attitude, but that's just where I'm at. Because I don't have the the generations to keep waiting because I have kids right now. Yeah, it's not about be liking or not. It's about the reality of it. Because this is what I do every day. It's so sad. I've been in for the the education system for 19 years. Mm -hmm. And I can't, when I say come to my office, I will help you. (laughs) You know who comes? The white, white people. people. <laughs> you know who's late? Every you know who responded to my <laughs> campaign? Oh, my oh, 608 <laughs> white people. Oh, and my, and oh, two my. black people. Right. See, that's what I'm saying. That is crazy. That's what I'm saying. You know what? Do you know why it is that, that um, people who play music love to play music? When did you just show them the video? I played the video. <laughs> when they, they like to play music? Uh, they like to listen to black music and these black folks is like this and I can't discount these white folks because if it wasn't for them I wouldn't be getting fed mm, you put they put too much on these white people they get that yo, there, the yo let brain. me step out the house because I'm, I'm not happy I'm not I can't stand all of this we can't stuff Justin it ain't about, it ain't about nothing that we can't it's just a fact. If you look at this video, she gonna. I mean, <laughs> this Joan is on this video. Yeah, I mean, she on she on point with it because she goes back on how when black people built the built. Okay, she, so here it is. This made me think of you when I saw her. This bad sister. I'm just saying yeah, this video came out when they were when the looting was going on. If I mean the riot and stuff, right? Do you understand that? 
That's what we came to do. We came to do the agricultural work in the south and the textile work in the north. Now, if I right now, if I right now decided that I wanted to play Monopoly with you, and for 400 rounds of playing Monopoly, I didn't allow you to have any money, I didn't allow you to have anything on the board, I didn't allow you to have anything, and then we played another 50 rounds of Monopoly, and everything that you get and you earned while you were playing that round of Monopoly was taken from you. That was Tulsa, that was Rosewood, there are play those are places where we built black economic wealth, where we were self-sufficient, where we owned our stores, where we owned our property, and they burned them to the ground. So that's 450 years. So for 400 rounds of Monopoly, you don't get to play at all. Not only do you not get to play, you have to play on the behalf of the person that you're playing against. You have to play and make money and earn wealth for them, and then you have to turn it over to them. So then for 50 years, you finally get a little bit and you're allowed to play. And every time that they don't like the way that you're playing or that you're catching up or that you're doing something to be self-sufficient, they burn your game. They burn your cards. They burn your monopoly money. And then finally at the release and the onset of that, they allow you to play and they say, okay, now you catch up. Now at this point, the only way you're going to catch up in the game is if the person shares the wealth, correct? But what if every time you say share the wealth, then there's psychological warfare against you to say, oh, you're an equal opportunity higher. So if I play 400 rounds of Monopoly with you, and I have to play and give you every dime that I make, and then for 50 years, every time that I play, I, and you didn't like what I did, you got to burn it like they did in Tulsa and like they did in Rosewood. How can you win? How can you win? You got to stop trying to play their game. See, this is not, this is not, this is what I've been talking about for the last couple of years on my YouTube channel. She's still talking about why the problem exists. What is the solution? Is she, is she just there to tell us what we already know? Okay. I don't think she was talking to us. She was just informing them of, of why. She was using, she was using an analogy. Mm -hmm. The monopoly, uh, monopoly was the analogy. The analogy she was using is like when we build our own. Because she's trying to talk to these white people right. about this problem, not to black people. Yeah. But here's the reality. When I was thinking, as she was talking and what you said, you were like, I'm not interested in the problem. I'm interested in the solution. I'm not interested in standing still or going backwards. I'm interested in going forward and using action. So I get it. And so I'm like, okay, first of all, what this concept that you have is not new. When my father, I might get to call my sister. Well, we lived at Fort Ritchie, Maryland. And my father and his buddy decided to do just that. And I don't know the amount of money, because I was like seven. I don't know the amount of money that they were putting in, but what happened was when everybody put in, then everybody got more money out. And they came. But this is just the regular thing in all of our actual Aboriginal families. We do that. We put the money in the pot. One person take the money out the in the month. They take that money out, start their business. This is normal. No, so wait a minute. But what I'm saying is, is they raided our house. I remember the cops coming and saying that it was illegal. Mm -hmm. And they say that this is mm -hmm. e an illegal step. Mm -hmm. And the only reason why they call it illegal is another way to keep us down. Right. Because they had the answer back in the 70s, because this was back in 71. We we watched them burn the whole move. I lived around the corner from when they dropped the bomb on, on move. I lived on Cobbs Creek Park, mm -hmm. and move the move members was around the corner from me. Right. So I remember them coming down. I remember the cops raiding them. I remember because we were right around the corner. Right. And they was telling us, y'all gonna have to get out, y'all gonna have to get out because the fire's spreading to the other houses. We watched them do that. See, and that, so this yeah. is, so I, what I'm saying is, is they're going to block. When you do it this way, when you put it out there, then they're gonna, they're gonna take it down. <laughs> so, as far as this campaign or yes. just in general, because the reason why I'm going the campaign route, because it is legal. This is It not, is legal. 
what well, us us coming up is not legal. You mean just as black people? Yeah. Now let's that's talk, not legal. Let's, 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 that's let's the movie, statement. That's something to talk about. In that movie, the banker he did everything legal. He did everything legal. Oh, the guy that had the first uh, bank right. back yeah. there. I never yeah. watched it. I he saw it. So we got to watch legal. it. But when it, the minute he moved over to Texas and tried it. So right. then what is the solution? If we, right. if we, so, if anything so. that will advance us is illegal, if, if we can't get together to trust each other enough to make a move, what it's, do okay. you do? Okay, so let's look at it like this. You can't, they're going to tell you that what you're doing is illegal. Who is going to say that? The government. The campaign is illegal? Yes, it's the moment, because they call it, it's a name. Let me try to call Michelle, because she could, she probably has the name. This happened. <laughs> it Please happened. enlighten me. Because so, then that what? would just mean I'm going to have to go the different way, because I'm trying to do peaceful, nonviolent. To me, this is as nonviolent as I can get. But but wait a minute. Hold on. Because right? you still, let me tell you something. You know who owns the guns and owns all of that stuff? It's not us. We don't own anything. Mm. But what I do know, what I do know is we have to be strategic. See, there's a strategic piece that has to be in what it is that you're saying. Go ahead, go ahead. No, I'm listening to you. Okay. What is not strategic about this stuff? What am I missing? Am I just missing the fear part? No, let's think about that. Okay, so how old are you? 41. Okay. So we're talking about 15, I got 15 years on me. And a lot happened in 15 years that I know I've seen. And I'm trying I'm, to Oh, I'm not discounting you. that at so, all. Right, so what I'm trying to tell you is I'm not saying don't do it. What I'm saying is, is that we have to before. think, we got to, I've seen for and we, we got to, we got to dot every I and cross every T. Okay, if you've get. seen it before, yeah. sharpen me. Right. That's what I need. Sharpen me, tell me, don't go left, go right. That's what I'm trying to tell you. But I know that you have this energy in me. But what I want to say is there's other ways that we can accomplish this same goal. How? And how long is that going to take? The it's lights like, is out in no, October. I'm not, I'm not trying to... I'm not with any long period of time. What I'm looking at is... There are certain things that you can do within your family, right? And that's number one. So there might be a route within your family. That's number one. Number two, there might be a way to prove to people that this works. See, black folks, we all about, you've got to prove it to me. Unless, you're Unless it's a white, white person that says, come on, <laughs> eat this cheese, um, they're going to kill you. you. And they, they will do it. it. <laughs> Why you think? Why you think? So, so <laughs> what I'm getting here is Fadia, go home and give up. Because there are no black no, people willing to do anything no, different. Nobody's saying that. What I'm saying is, is be strategic. So imagine this. If you do it with a small... Let's put it this way. If P. Diddy came to me and told me this, mm -hmm. I'm going to follow P. Diddy. Oh, because P. Diddy catch it. Mm -hmm. But somebody like bro, because I don't know you for nothing, right. telling me something, I'm like, uh, yeah, I, I got like three million other people hitting me with the same thing. But you got one person, LeBron James, we don't know, all that type of stuff. The people with it, with it, but, and show it, you they, they, they easy to follow. Think about it like this. You know those tier... Those, you know, Terrorist you go team. in and then you hire somebody and you do this. Okay, people say that all the time. Oh, it's a pyramid. Yeah, pyramid scheme. I don't see Jack. And I'm sick and tired of it. So what they did is they started bringing in famous people to try to say, and I do it too. I still don't see the money. So I'm like, I'm tired of hearing those kind of things. That's, and that's what I was saying about the NAACP. The right. NAACP had W.E.B. Du Bois. And the black people at that time said, look at that man with his hair slicked back mm -hmm. and his no facial hair right. and his proper etiquette. Yeah. And he walk and talk and look, but his, and his skin black, but it's light. That's who we need to follow. Yeah. And look where we are today. Nowhere. But I will say I don't want nobody me. following me. I don't but want listen, nobody following listen. nobody. Follow yourself. But listen. Pay yourself. But listen. You can't, you can't pay yourself. We can pay ourselves, but we can't pay ourselves because otherwise I just take my $20 and give it back to me. That ain't doing anything. But what I do think is if we take, prove it. Let's take 
I don't know like, what do it, really do it mean. smaller, like do it by city. You look so much like Mush. Like do, do it, do I like that. I will. I <laughs> believe did. me. And as I get older, I'm going to keep looking like it. You, look, you, look, you do it like Look at that. It's that strange. No. But when you. But we be saying like do it do smaller. Like do a city. Or not a city. Or do like a. Even, even a neighborhood. Like, that's right. A, 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 a neighborhood that's concentrated. Like 99% black. Do something. And then, and then when they flourish, then people say, why? It worked. Yeah. I think the reason why I'm so all this energy y'all talking about that I have and all that because the same thing that y'all are saying to me mm-hmm. was said to me by the city councilwoman <laughs> it was said to me by the editor of Upscale Magazine mm-hmm. they all said start off small don't do this this way mm-hmm. okay mm-hmm. and I chose not to listen to that because I needed more Exposure. Okay. And so, when I went that way, mm-hmm. that's why I got all of that exposure with that last thing. All right. So, so I'm just, I'm not saying that what you're saying is not valid or nothing. I'm just saying that I do, I do know what I'm studying. Mm-hmm. I do know what the field I've been in for the last 15 years, which is the internet. That I do know that. I, I do know people. I do know trends. Okay. I I, ha- I know what I'm talking about. Okay. I've proven okay. what so I'm saying is worse. What I'm saying is, what is stopping you from doing it right tonight? Now. Right there, now. It's not about me though. It's about other people believing in their own power. If everybody thinks so like what you're y'all looping, saying, you're looping back right, to the right, beginning. Right. What you're I'm looping saying back is, started. if right now <laughs> we said to you, that's why I said so, pack up and go home, because this is what I'm saying. If if the the majority thinks like this, yeah. then I am wasting my time because I am unable. Is that a word? Unable. Unable to wait five generations for Negroes okay. to do something. So, so here it is. If we had said, "But dear, that's it. Put it out there," and you say, "Yeah," and you put it out there. We, I know what I've been dealing with, and I know my research too. And if I didn't say anything, and then now you like, well, why did it work? <laughs> well, because this and the other. But if I had told you, right? So what I'm trying to say is, let's bring it all to the surface. Now that we have it all out, let's figure out solutions to get around all that, so we can make it happen. Okay, but so what's the solution? to make this work? Is it to just start off small and go into a little city and try to fix that? Well, you said you want to do it big. I don't so know how to... I, that's not how I work. I don't know how to do it. Let me I'm not... Something. I want people to look and say, how in the world did they find... All you got to do is find any city on Martin Luther's... Yeah, <laughs> Martin Luther King Boulevard. You wrong for that. And, yeah. and collect <laughs> that. And they change oh, that goodness. and make gold funny. roads or whatever, you know, hospital, right. or whatever. Like and when they did that like, BLM. Oh, and well. and then they- do it for every state. Because, see, they, they put Dr. King down by putting by putting his name on a street that's mm-hmm. always going to be in the worst neighborhoods, right? right? So then it's like, that's exactly where it needs to be. But guess what we can right do? And you do it in pockets. And then after a while, they like, Wait, 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 wait. Every Martin Luther King Street is the bomb. Is the bomb. Right. Then they're like, well, how did you do that? And those same people that put the, the $20 in, is going to put another $20 in. They're going to want to do it again. The whole saying is yeah. a bomb one built and one not. Right, right, right. But see that right there. And it needs to be something solid. Well, sorry, ass baby daddy's got 10 million views in one night because of my mouth. So I'm just saying, but it's it's both sides to each coin. So then do there it. is a yeah, just do it. Why do you do okay? Because I'm trying to make Never it simple. Mind. For Thank you. you. I'm not trying to make it work. It don't that doesn't seem like I think something that they would do in all in mass together. It would be to me, it would be more likely if they would follow somebody they know. But I think a big question would be to you right now. And you might not be the answer right now, but if you can do it. What can I do, or he do, or he do, 
to support you right now because I want to support you. And if you say I want to go big or go home, then let's go big. How would you? Because I'm not gonna. I don't want to stop it. I I want it to go, but I would be remiss if I didn't at least say it. But I'm like, if you said no, I want to go big. Then let's go big. I just need to know what's my role. Do you need my twenty? Do you need me to <laughs> tell somebody else? Tell me what it is so that we can go ahead and make it happen. Maybe, uh, Regina. Maybe what I what you could do for me is use your voice. I guess. Like if I maybe not me. I'm not the best writer, but put something together for you to say in your speaking voice, mm -hmm. so it's more professional on the campaign. That was nice though. That right there. Really? Who did you write that? Yeah. <laughs> that was excellent. There was only one word, and it's at the beginning. It was like. I think you use the word don't instead of do not or won't. It was like, okay. that's it. I was like, I don't know where she got this, but this is good. I try to keep it short and simple because people lose. Yeah. The last times I've been putting up there, I yeah, had so do much it. information that nobody was going to it. Right. So I try to keep it, I dumbed it down as, poss as small as possible. Right, 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 right. No, I, I would just. And still people. But do. see, the thing of it is. Out of everything, no matter how much I've suggested or haven't suggested or told you, the one thing you got to do is somehow make it underground because these white folks just destroy. I mean, they killed Dr. King. He didn't even get started, really. Right. It's like they there's got to be a way to do it. If you think about it, they ain't really put a bullet through him until the Poor People's Party campaign said you need to come to our march yeah yeah remember everything yeah. was all hunky-dory with black people because a lot of black people didn't go to the march anyway no if you look at pictures it's white folk it's white people it's like it is today mm -hmm. so a lot of black people actually watched the march at home mm -hmm. that's what really happened mm -hmm. don't let the history books fool you so when well, you when you take that into account <laughs> so i'm like yeah you gotta do incognito. You gotta, we gotta figure out a way to do this without it being up on top because they, they just wait for you to set something out there for them to destroy it. I don't care what it is. Look at what they did to Michael Jackson. They destroyed him. And they got black folks to, to, to go jump right to along. To be with the it. ones to destroy him. Right. How about that? Agent 809, Oprah. And then, yeah. <laughs> she, she. <laughs> the prime example is Bill Cosby. And Bill. Oh, and that's Bill. Bill <laughs> because that whole thing, him bringing up, that, that chick bringing up that rape. That's she, a she, 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 she was all out of the supposedly black and white law time when she could do it. Supposedly. But, but, but they still, they they still <laughs> bit the hell out of it to pull, pull his ass down. You, yeah. look, you look at today, like this whole coronavirus thing. They're saying that the people, the number one people that are getting it is black people. people. Oh, yeah. That's not true. How poor people get it? We can't even go nowhere. We can't travel. <laughs> we ain't got nobody to be traveling they, all over they the place. Are putting it, they will find any, by any, they're mm. vicious. There's a difference between white folks and black folks when it comes to viciousness. We can't even compare. Not even. If you tap not into even. your inner reptilian, you can. I just want everybody that look like me to change the way they're thinking. And I think I this is where I get frustrated. This is where I, I tap out and just isolate myself because I, I, can't, I can't live in that. My cousin said to me in 2016, remember? We had that meeting at my house. I said, enough is enough. She came over, we was talking, and she said, she said, Fadir, you too far ahead. No, I'm not saying She said that, that you need four generations before we can get to what you're talking about. Okay, so let me tell you something that I know, Matt, um, like in business. It takes one year to implement change. It takes three years to get people on board for the change. It takes five years for the change to happen, and it takes seven years for it to be a systemic change. 
And that is because of the hard headedness of folks. It's just know? human nature. But it only takes 60 days for us to never keep depending on them again. And Not, it only takes, look, listen, and it only talk. takes two weeks to get everybody to wear masks and social distancing right. and take all the toilet right. paper out it and be nice on, to each other. It depends on the force. Yeah. Yeah. If you want everybody to do like this and how to do that, that all you got to do is drop a huge bomb and everyone's going to say, okay, what do they want us to do? Let's yeah. go. We're going to do that. Okay? Force beats everything. Yeah. But next okay. down from force is persuasion. Yeah. I think I think if you do this, you'll be safer. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Persuasion. I don't have the ability to... This is how you work with humans, um, man. This is how humans work. Put that on that top thing. It's, a, it's such a pain because believe me, I have I have set it up for people to succeed. Really? <laughs> he was about to drop it yeah. to succeed, and people still <laughs> throw it away. I said, "Yo, I think y'all met Adam. I don't know if you met Adam, but anyway, I got Adam in school." Set him up. He had more money than he's ever had in his life because the money that was left over after he paid for his classes and everything through grants. This money he didn't even have to pay back. Mm -hmm. He's going and I'm helping him. I got the right teachers and I'm in there. I leave because I had to go. That's when I went to Africa. That was the that was the semester he was supposed to take math. I had him all set up. He was going until I left for Africa and he quit. Because there's people who just he was never doing it. Right, I was doing it. You were doing it. Yep. And, and that's what that's money. what that is what you want. You want people to do what you yourself would do. And I'm telling you, black, white, it don't matter. Mm. Human okay, beings. Okay, I got it. I got it. They react the most strongest. Like you want them to do it now. Do it now. Sixty days. All you have to do is say, "Listen, I'm gonna kill all y'all," and then tomorrow kill twenty million people. And then they'll be like, okay, we got to do this in 50 years. Yeah, we got to go do this. Go. And they'll do it. But let me ask you But this, short of that, do you think <laughs> that do we it. could grab... No, I, I don't even want to say that. Do you think that the people who would contribute would have minds like us? I mean, I think that might be the case because you already got rid of 50%. So I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt that the other 50% are people... Who would know what to do with this stuff? Who would go to classes because they want to know? People who are going to try. And so I think that is very possible. I really, really do. How could you secure a set number of like-minded people? Maybe that would be the most beneficial. If you could literally get a roll you gotta of like-minded people. You got to do the brick approach. A brick is one of the oldest construction materials of all times. And the brick stand stronger than any other material. So you look even more than metal. Because we got pyramids that are still standing today. Mm -hmm. Right? But the only way that you can build with a brick mm -hmm. is one brick next to another brick next to another brick. And it continues to build on each other. I considered doing 100 monkeys. Uh who? The 100 monkey project. Okay. I considered doing that because I, I believe that humans are just humans, humans and they will follow. <laughs> Mm -hmm. So you know the hundred monkeys with no. the um one monkey was cleaning cleaning a nut or something off in the ocean and then everybody in his tribe was doing it. But then on the other side of the world, the monkeys was doing the same thing. They had never been in contact with these particular monkeys that did it. I forget the name of the project, oh, but wow. yeah, so I was thinking I could do that too, use, you know, the psychology on them mm -hmm. and just have me put twenty dollars in and then I get nine people to be on the same video and put, you know, showing that we're putting it in and then get them to get nine people. So all we need is 100 people and then everybody else. It, it's, it's so many ways to do it. It's just Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Easy. But, but you're talking now strategically to do it that way. And I like that. I think that that will actually work. The thing, and you can get the people that you know would put it in and who is ready to go through some literacy classes or know what to do with their money. But, I'm just saying, if I can get some proof, 
let me tell you something. There, there are people who will put a hundred dollars in. They'll put a hundred dollars in. What well, would they out need fruit. to do to put a hundred dollars in the people that you know? Proof. What would they need? Proof. Proof of what? That and I'm not going to run off with the a, money. A trust no. that's already established. That that they can that they can read works. the paperwork. That and, it not even that. That, that. that it works. That it works because mm. the thing. Because let me tell you something. But they tell you it'll work if you work it right. <laughs> let me tell you something because I'm okay. So let me tell you something that happened with my family. We started going to the church we go to now. Mm -hmm. Reverend Norm said, you know, that prosperity and that you need to tithe. And when you tithe, it opens up a sieve and you start bringing in more money. <coughs> he was like, reciprocity. Right. 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 Well, the law of reciprocity does so work. It's a universal law. It is. It does but, work. But us black Bruh. ain't giving up our money on something that don't, we can't yeah. see such a feel, right? right? right. But when I did uh -huh. that, uh -huh. And it started, you know, things was happening. He was like, what? Michelle was like, 